Okay, here we have question two. Now it is really quite important to actually try to do these questions before I go through the answers. So if you pause the video now you could try to have a go at this question on a piece of paper. Now, this question is clearly a volume question. Before I even read what the question is about, I've got a box, I've got boxes inside a box. Um, I could probably figure out, I've got to figure out how many boxes fit inside here. You can't do it by looking, you've got to look at the numbers. You're told that the crate measures these dimensions, 210, which is the long side. Oops, 210. And uh, doesn't really matter which direction either one is, but this is, uh, I'm going to put this as 120. And the height I'm going to have is 100. Each box inside the crate, each box we're told measures 8.4, 6, and 4. So if we say this one's going to, these are going to match up, so the 8.4 put along that side, the 6, and on this side, and the, the height of the box, the height of the box is going to be 4. So, how many boxes are going to fit along the length? Well, we've got 210 divided by 8.4 that's going to give us 25. We can do that on a calculator. This whole exam paper is calculator based so we can do that on a calculator no problem. The width here is going to be 120 divided by uh, 6 which is 20 and the height is going to be 100 divided by Four, which is 25. So how many boxes does that make? Well we've got 25 going across this way and 20 across that way so that's 25 times 20 boxes on the bottom and there's going to be 25 layers of boxes stacked up so we need to times those boxes by another 25. And if we do that we figure out there is 12,500 boxes Okay, at this point you'd have earned yourself two out of the five marks. The rest of the, the question is about the context, so volume in a context. You've got boxes, the boxes cost four pounds each to make. When sold, each box makes 50% profit. So 50% of four pounds is going to be two pounds profit. No calculate required there, it's a nice easy calculation. And we've got 1, 000, uh, 12,500 boxes, £2 profit each. We're asked to work out the total profit from selling all the boxes. Times those two together, we get £25,000. And that's the answer. Each of these steps gets you, um, you get an extra mark for a £2 being seen. Or if you did it slightly differently, you worked out the total cost for each box. So you added the 50% onto the four to make £6. That will give you an extra, method, uh, an extra mark for number 6 being seen or number 2 being seen. Then there's a method mark for doing this calculation when you're multiplying it up. And then there's an answer mark for the 25,000. This is where you must be very careful. This is 5 marks. If you just calculate the answer on a calculator and wrote down 25,000, um, there's only one, well, there's one mark for the answer. I think but I believe that you would get probably all the marks, but if you made any mistake along the way, you would lose a lot of all this marks if you made, if you didn't get this exactly right. So it's best to set out your work in as you go along. And there we go, question two.